So these problems can include a server going down, people can't access their mail, a core business application that no longer responds, your website giving a user an error, or some other piece of business functionality that's affected. So what does it mean when these incidents arise? Well, it means that the projects that your organization is working on or your business strategy or your employee's productivity is delayed because people can't do what they need to do, right? And incidents happen in all organizations across all domains. Odds are most people even on this call have been part of one. So if you've ever been in one where things have gone wrong, you were surprised by the incident, you didn't know where to reach out, or you even had trouble communicating with your team, you know the pain that's associated with this lack of clarity. And being prepared when an incident happens is going to be critical to your reputation. And the thing is, these problems are only going to be getting worse as more and more people start relying on technology and then working from home. And it's a trend that is increasing, right? So you have more companies who are supporting working from home. I mean, we've all been affected on this call. And if you look at some of those big companies, the trends with the Twitters, the Facebooks, the Googles, the Amazons, is that employees may be working from home forever. So to give some perspective, uh, Zoom usage, which is that tool that you're all on right now, uh, soared from 10 million daily meetings in December to over 300 million in April. So more and more people are working from home and then having the technology uh, that your customers use and them being able to work is essential. So if you're hosting anything in the cloud or on-prem or using some SaaS-based solution, a problem to any of these is going to be affecting your customers. And hopefully you have some like the systems, the applications, the services being monitored. But the problem, I guess, or the issue with this is that as you want to be that agile IT team that's flexible and supporting your business with all these different environments, the monitoring of these is going to be creating a lot of noise, right? You're going to get lots of events, lots of alerts that are constantly happening. And this is a big problem because it's that boy who cried wolf, right? Every alert starts to become meaningless because the monitoring software is crying wolf, wolf, wolf or alert, 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 so many times that then you start to ignore it and you don't pick up on those important ones so that when a real situation shows up, we have ourselves a major incident. And being able to identify and then action those critical events are more important than ever because we're not judged by the problem happening, right? But by the response we provide. And there's a cost to these critical events too. You've probably seen these numbers before. I mean, they're quite shocking. But um, 2014, Gardner estimated that the average enterprise incurred a cost of approximately 8,000 Australian dollars for every minute of unplanned downtime. Two years later, the Ponemon Institute went, that average has increased to over $12,500 per minute of unplanned downtime. And 78% of that cost is related to the loss of employee productivity. So again, your employees can't do what they need to do. Your business can't reach the goals they need to reach and everything gets put on pause. So even with these crazy numbers here shown, it's really odd or the odd thing is that I still have clients who don't seem to be putting the right steps in place to reduce these events and then the downtime involved. Because when downtime happens, again, think of it, it's your internal productivity, it's your projects, it's your business strategy that's being delayed, your reputation's online. So you need to have the right steps in place to have the clarity around what your response will be when an incident happens, right? You need to be prepared. So how do you get prepared? Well, are you monitoring? Are you getting alerts for your critical systems? Where do those alerts come from? Who's responsible for those alerts, right? Are those alerts being filtered into some generic mailbox, which is then checked by IT service desk or a specific IT team? Or do you have those alerts being sent to the specific teams responsible for them? Who do I escalate to, right? Who's responsible for my different systems? Who's on call? Who owns the incident when it happens? How do I contact or how do we contact our stakeholders? Where do we put our post-incident review? Do we have any integrations with our different systems so we could capture all the information that's happened outside of this into that one PIR, right? And then how does IT communicate? How does the business get informed? Which tool is used for messages and communication? Is it integrated with any of our different systems? And then how do you log your comments? How do you log your work? Where and how do you link related incidents? And these are key. Don't wait till it's too late. You wanna have these defined escalation processes. You wanna know which teams are responsible for which systems. You wanna have an integrated call roster for your existing tools. And uh, you want to get your alert management fixed so that you aren't inundated with too many alerts. Now, Ops Genie, 
is one tool that can help you to automate this business logic and integrate with your different systems. And we have some of the key features here, right? It integrates with over 200 tools. So you could do simple email alerts or API integrations, or you could go more tool specific and say, hey, I want to integrate with AWS CloudWatch. I want to integrate with Regios. You have on-call rostering and escalation logic. So you can contact the right people in charge of the right systems the first time. You don't need to look at a spreadsheet anymore. You have everything integrated in your tools so that escalations become automated, automatic and you've automated your business logic. You could create a command center for all your tech team to work on issues and provide updates to the required technical stakeholders. Or you could integrate that with Jira, with chat tools, so that then you could pull in data from those when you do your PIR. You could integrate and have those chat tools also send specific messages and alerts to them to specific rooms so the right teams again are informed and then those teams can even take actions directly from that chat window so you don't need to go into another tool to do your work and finally you can also integrate with your service desk right so that the service desk can then see all of these major incidents in their own dedicated view and link issues to them you could visualize even how incidents and alerts are related to the services that you have and link those back to change requests and then code releases that were done to your environment.